Now, if you've never played The Forest or Sons of the Forest, uh, you can actually take damage from trees falling on you. So if you're playing with friends or with Kevin, I highly recommend keeping an eye on where the trees are falling because they do hurt pretty bad. I don't know if Kevin can... Oh, Kevin. Oh, boy. I don't know if Kevin can die to falling trees, but you definitely can. Kevin's doing a pretty good job of chopping down all these trees, and we got plenty of wood. Now you'll notice you have two different things. We could just go ahead and build a small log cabin, and we could just stick 75 logs into there, and wham bam, thank you ma'am, we could be done. Now to get to this different section, you can hit, you can switch modes by holding X. So you can go into kind of like these pre-built option things. Or we can go into the kind of free build mode, where the game shows us how we can do all of these different things. We've got struts, roofs, uh, oh my god, that tree almost hit me, basic beams. And essentially we can use this to kind of guide us on how we are going to build our house. We have a couple different options for basic beams. This is also how we can build like roofs and things like that too. We're going to go over this entire system so that way you know exactly what you need to do. Now, before you start building, I highly recommend finding a good fresh water source nearby. You're going to need that for water for yourself, and you can send Kevin to fish for you. I think Kevin can fish from the saltwater areas too, but then also getting a nice flat area is really good. So I chose this spot specifically because it gave me views in the back, and I shouldn't have to build any defensive stuff back here. And then I have a nice flat spot right here for us to start building. So let's go ahead and pick up two of these logs. We can carry two at a time. And I kind of want to build my structure so I have the back facing that way with maybe some windows. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to look at the ground and we can rotate with Q and R to make sure it's facing the right direction. I'm going to get it into the flat area right here. And we're going to start building like this. We can just drop it right on the ground. It's going to auto clear that area for us. Oh, hello. I've got a future video on how we're going to actually befriend that little mutant over there. So keep an eye on that. And then we're going to build it, actually, so I kind of rotated this the wrong way. You can pick up something with C. And I want to make sure, maybe we should just focus on the back part first. So we look at the ground, Q and R. We can rotate that, and I kind of want it to look this way so we have enough room. And then we can keep going straight ahead like this. You can even put it at an angle too if you want. But we're going to work on a square one first right now. We're going to go over everything you need to know about building a base. For our first structure, we're going to go relatively simple. Right now, we've just got a 4x2 square here. But we want to get a floor in here, right? And in the little diagram, it says you need to make it into, like, squares for the floor. But you actually don't have to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to split this 4x2 square in half. So we're going to grab two more logs here. So one, two. And we're going to keep going straight across our little uh, cabin that we're building here. So now we've split that right in half. And what we can do, instead of having to put cross beams in here, we can actually build the floor right on top of that so we can save a little bit of wood by not having to continue to continuously make these little squares. So if we walk up to it now and we go right here, you can see that it's showing you like this little split icon. If we do that, then we can keep splitting these logs right across to build our floor. And we're going to do that for this whole thing. Now you'll notice as you're building, it's going to want you to skip these little spots right here because it it thinks there should be a cross beam there or something. I'm not sure why it won't let you just split two straight across. So what we're going to do is we're going to click once there. It's going to leave us with an extra that we're going to yeet. We're going to pick that bad boy up and we're going to do the same thing right here to fill those gaps. One of the great things about this building system is while we're starting with a relatively small build, which I think you should do, we can expand on it pretty easily by just continuing to build it out that way. So anytime you want a little expansion, what we can do is we can just add right onto it if it would let us drop right there. But we didn't choose a flat enough spot, so I think it's going too far into the ground, unfortunately. But we could build like maybe something right here and we could leave this bit off. So you can continuously expand on these free builds, which is why I really wanted to learn this system. But what we're going to do is we're going to start building the walls. And to build a wall, you take a log and you slap it right into the little spots that allows you to do. So you see we almost got a tree dropped on us. And we're going to do that for each of these corners. And we're going to do that because we need to build um, these trusses for our roof later. Now that we have all of our pillars placed, we have one in each and every spot. I want to show just how to make a quick door since I've got this already stacked right here. Um, you go up to the logs and you're going to go up to basically one below the... Uh, 
the top. You can make windows doing the same thing. We're going to make a door right now. So we want to go down all the way to the bottom. Make a door. There we go. Make a door here. Just like that. So there we go. Now we have a doorway. And then we need to actually fill this door in uh, and actually make the door. So if we take a long log, one of the, the big ones, not the small ones that we cut up, and we'll go up to the door, you're going to see this little, like, spread thing. And that's going to make our door, the little spread thing. Make sure to save these little bits. We're going to actually need those for our trusses here in a minute. And we'll place this bad boy right there. And wham bam, thank you ma'am, we've got ourselves a nifty little door. So we're going to make our truss right now. And the reason I went with this size building to start off with is it's going to be really easy to explain how the trusses work. We're going to actually put pillars in between um, all of this. So basically straight down the center. So I need two more. And we're going to need, I think, uh, even a couple more than that. We need to go all the way across like this now. And we need to put it straight across the top. Now that we've got that made, what we can do is we can take these little logs that we have if you don't have any of these half logs, you can go up to a full log and you can get that red line and you can chop it in half. We're not going to do that because I've already got some right here. And we're going to put that right here. So you get a little like swoop icon and that means you can put one of these braces in. We're going to do that um, at the front, like basically on one side and then on the other side right here. And then once we do that, we can go through here and we can actually take out these support pillars that we made. And we're gonna use those support pillars to actually go at the edges of our wall right here. We can take them all out now. And essentially that's going to be how we support our roof. So now all we need to do is fill in all of this with logs. It's gonna take a lot of logs to build your wall. I wish we could like cut them in half and fill it in that way. That would have been really nice, but it's definitely more supportive to do it this way. And we gotta fill this whole thing in. It might actually be easier to build your roof before you start building your walls. And if you want to do that, we can just do the same thing we did for our floors, where we take a log, we split them in half, and we throw them up top for our roof. I'm going to actually build the roof before I build all the walls, because it's going to be easier just to haul all the logs kind of into the building this way. If you are having trouble filling the gap, it seems to help if you don't look right at the gap itself, but look at the log next to it to get the drop point to, to actually show up. Now, if you want, you can get really fancy with your roof. Now, be warned, it is very expensive to make a fancy roof as far as just the amount of logs that it's going to take. Uh, but you can build a ramp really easily. Uh, all you need to do is just kind of look at your wall and you can put one of these down a diagonal and you split logs to be able to make a little ramp out of it. Super simple. And we're going to essentially do the same thing to build our, uh, our roof. Now, if you want a pitched roof like this, what you can do is you can go to one of your edges. You're going to put a log like that. And then you're going to put a log here. And if you have your axe out and you look at the log, you can see these different cut lines. You can cut at different heights. So you can really make your roof any shape you want. We're going with the steep pitch. So we're going to cut that in half. We're going to grab it and we're going to put it right over here. Um, now essentially what we're going to be doing is just putting logs down at an angle like this and these logs are going to go all the way uh, down into the base part of your roof like that. And you can kind of build really whatever shaped roof you want. Now to put the top part of the roof in, what we're going to do is split these logs across it just like that and try not to do that because you don't need to. It's a little wonk. Oh no, he got yeeted right off the edge. Uh, but essentially that's all we need to do to build our roof out. It takes a lot of time to build a fancy roof. I don't really think it's needed. I was debating actually just putting a fence around the top of this to keep any of the... Oh, there she is. She's back all the way up in there. Um, just to keep any of the mutants off. See, there's sometimes you get this like weird thing like that where it just doesn't look quite right. But otherwise, the building system is pretty cool. So that is essentially all you really need to know to be able to build your own cabin with this like free roam or free build kind of mechanism that they've put into the game. Now it does kind of beg the question, is it worth it? If you want a more realistic kind of building experience in your survival game, sure. Um, if you care about just having a shelter, honestly, it's 
probably more time than it's really worth. Other than the fact that you can expand upon your build as you really, I guess, progress through the game, which is kind of nice, rather than having to build something entirely new. You can add rooms to it. You can really do whatever you want to it. Uh, so from that aspect, I guess it is kind of worth it. But it is very, very time-consuming, so don't think it's going to be super quick. It's going to take you a while. You'll have to figure some things out. And even when you do start building the like if you want to put a fancy roof on it, there's no real way to fill in these these sidewalls because they really don't give you a way to be able to do that because the snap points are a little wonky. Um, you can do it, it just doesn't look very good, so I'm leaving mine open for now. Uh, but anyways, I do hope you all enjoyed the video. Also, for these, this I, I wanted to include this. Um, it's really easy to do this. So if you're not getting that snap point on the ground, what you can do is you can look at the ground and you can right click. So if you're seeing this only, you can right click and then you can put your logs directly into the ground. And then to chop them, you just need to take your ax out and point it up at the, at the top of this and you can ax it into a defensive wall, which is pretty nice so they won't be able to climb over that. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next one.